okay here is the second question of uh, electrostatics so it reads um, one end of insulating rod which is rigid which is being uh, fixed at point 2 or basically uh, pivoted and it has a negligible mass length is given to us and there is a small m particle over here and this has been given a minus q charge and there is a fixed charge plus q there which is small and the height and uh, this length are known to us what we need to find is the uh, range of value of mass so we need to find what the range of this mass is going to be for the purpose so that uh, this rod remains in stable equilibrium so stable equilibrium is the need uh, this is gravity which is downside so um, at this particular uh, orientation if you write the force on this rod or maybe on this particle you'll find it won't move at all so that's equilibrium what is a stable equilibrium uh, how we decide for a stable equilibrium for that we disturb this uh, system by slightly and we check whether it's getting restored or uh, not if it is restoring that means stable equilibrium so we can use the same figure and let's disturb this uh, um, by slight angle theta maybe in this direction so new location will be this this m will be over here at this particular location it will be experiencing certain forces so let's uh, draw those forces so if we draw those forces we will find there is going to be a mg force and there is going to be a electrostatic force right so for electrostatic force we need to join this line and this electrostatic force will be acting in this direction because plus and minus so it's going to be attractive that will be a direction of electrostatic force coulombic force you can call it f e e for electrostatic and what are mg uh, for mg we can say there's going to be um, again two component let's say this angle that we have turned it by is theta so we will have this uh, component of mg over here and the component of mg which is going to restore it that is going to be mg sin theta and this will become mg cos theta how we are able to find this you just draw this this is your mg then you write this angle is going to be theta so cos theta sin theta these are the stuffs and electrostatic force is there what we can do uh, else is this we can have this uh, we can assume let's say this angle this small angle that is being formed over here is uh, beta if that angle is beta we can have a component of this force f e one along the direction of this rod and another in the direction perpendicular to the rod which is opposite to mg sin theta this is going to be f e uh, sin beta understood now the forces which are acting uh, along the rod uh, they will include uh, component of electrostatic force mg as well as this uh, rods uh, rods force like uh, compression or elongation whatever is coming there now for restoring purpose we will say that there are two forces are playing role mg sin theta and fe sin beta it will be in a stable equilibrium if this mg sin theta dominates over fe sin beta because they are going to give the torque to us uh, from the point O right we can find the torque from point O and we want it to be restoring so mg sin theta should lead so we can say for stable equilibrium what is required is this mg sin theta should be greater than electrostatic force sin beta now when we do this kind of uh, disturbances like theta so theta is considered as small so theta and beta they are small whenever there is small angle we know there is small angle approximation so we can say sin theta can be written as theta so this will become mg theta should be greater than fe beta now we can put the value of fe if required fe is a magnitude is going to be like k 
q small q divided by distance square now since we are uh, moving this theta very small then you will realize that the angle that it is going to made uh, at q location this let's call this as alpha alpha is also going to be very small so the distance uh, that distance r uh, of q from m here and there uh, will be uh, similar so we can say r square is going to be basically l plus h whole square into sin beta can be written as beta even alpha is also small so all these angles are small now what we need to do relate uh, the, um, this theta and beta now we can relate easily theta and beta by using the triangle you can see the triangle of q this o and this m so in that triangle we can use the sine law or sine rule let me separate this for that purpose as per the sine rule in the triangle we can say um, like uh, this l divided by a uh, sine l opposite is alpha so sine alpha is going to be equal to h divided by uh, this number which is sin beta isn't it now uh, again alpha beta they are small so this could be rewritten as l upon alpha is equal to h upon beta these angles are in radians you know that now in the same triangle this theta is behaving like an uh, external angle or exterior angle so theta can be written as a sum of alpha plus beta now we need to find a relation between theta and beta uh, so what we can say we can eliminate alpha from there so we put the value of alpha over here so theta will become uh, we can write it as uh, l beta divided by h plus beta so theta could be written as l plus h by h into beta so in place of theta we can replace this number right so we are going to get is mg into l plus h by h into beta should be greater than k q q divided by l plus h square into beta beta is going to be positive number we can uh, which is non zero we can divide by this in this inequality and we are interested in finding m value so from here we can find m should be greater than q small q and from here you are going to get h k is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught so we can write 4 pi epsilon naught and this is going to be L plus H Q. Now this is uh, the mass value for stable equilibrium must be greater than this number. If mass is less than this number, it won't be in a stable equilibrium. The torque of this F e sine beta will dominate and it will go like this. So if we want it to be stable, what we should have the mass, uh, it should be more than this value. So range is from this value onwards. That's our answer. Okay. Thank you.